Solving systems of equations using elimination, lesson 11 notes. Example number eight. Let's start with our list. Do we have opposites? No, we do not. Do we have identical terms? No, we do not. Do we have multiples? Well, let's start. Te uh, 14 divided by 10 does not divide out evenly. It would be 1.4. So 14 is not a multiple of 10. 4 divided by 2, however, is 2. Therefore, 4 is a multiple of 2. So we have the multiples negative 2g and 4g. So we have these multiples right here. All right, now remember, when you have multiples, you want to multiply the equation with the smaller term. Which is the smaller term? That's the 2g or the negative 2g. So that's the equation I'm going to multiply. What do I multiply by? Well, I multiply the opposite of the larger term divided by the smaller term. So the opposite of this larger term, the opposite of positive 4, would be negative 4. And then the divided by the smaller term, which is negative 2. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. So we are going to multiply the top equation by positive 2. The bottom equation will stay the same. We'll multiply the top one by positive 2. Pause your video. Make sure you have everything written down so far. All right, so let's multiply this top equation. 2 times 10h would give me 20h. 2 times negative 2g would be negative 4g. 2 times 11 would be 22. All right, what um, cancels? What are opposites? The g terms are opposites. So the g's will eliminate. So 20h plus 14h, 20 plus 14 is 34, so that would be 34h. 22 plus 46 would be 68. To isolate the variable, I'm going to divide both sides by 34. That allows me to cancel the 34s. Bring down the H. 68 divided by 34 is 2. All right, so we solved for the H. Now we need to solve for the G. I'm going to use the top equation because those numbers are the smallest. So I'm going to use the top equation, 10h minus 2g equals 11. Since I solve for h, that's where the parentheses go. So I'm going to have 10 parentheses minus 2g equals 11. And that 2 will replace the h. So I'm going to start with my multiplication. Pause your video now if you need to and get everything written down. Okay, 10 times 2 is 20. Bring down the negative 2g, the equal sign, the 11. I'm going to box my variable term. And I need to take this 20 to the other side of the equation. The inverse operation, since it's positive, it would be negative 20. The 20s would cancel. Bring down my negative 2g. Bring down the equal signs. 11 minus 20 is negative 9. To isolate the g, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. Eliminate my 2's. So g equals. Unfortunately, Negative 9 divided by negative 2 does not give us an integer answer. So in other words, it's going to stay a fraction 
you could either write it as nine halves or four and a half or 4.5. I would accept any one of those answers. So our final answer, G comes before H, so G would be the 4.5, H equals 2. All right, let's check our answer with the GeoGebra app. All right, now, again, I don't have X and Y. G comes before H. Since G comes before H, G was the X, H was the Y. So when I put these equations into the calculator, I did 10Y minus 2X equals 11, and then 14Y plus 4X equals 46. And let's see where they intersect. They intersect at 4.52, which is the answer we have. Okay, so that is it. For example eight, it's also it for the solving systems of equations using elimination lesson 11 notes. So if you have any questions on example eight or any questions on the le uh, lesson 11 notes at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Make sure you have everything written down before ending the video.